Hey everyone, so here I'm doing exercise 7.4, seventh question. This is from fraction chapter of class six. Find answer to the following. Write and indicate how you solve them. So they're asking how we got the answer here. So here the question, the first one is, is five upon nine equal to four upon five? Okay, so they're asking if they're equal or not, and they're also asking how we got the answer. So they're asking us to indicate here. So that two ways actually we can do it simply by cross multiplying or uh, there is one more we are going to show you how to do that. So the cross multiplication method is this. You have to just cross multiply the numerators and denominators. So 5 5 is 25 and 9 4 is 36. So you can see these numbers are not equal. This means even this uh, these fractions are also not equal. But still in the question they are asking us to indicate this. So we are going to solve the problem. So I am going to show you here how we got the answer by both uh, by cross multiplying and also by the normal solving the problem. So here I can, you can see the next problem 9 9 is 81 16 into 5 is 80 again they are not equal 81 is not equal to 80 so in the second question also 9 upon 16 and 9, 5 upon 9 are not equal next C also I'm going to show you with cross multiply so in case if this question come for one mark you should able to do this like immediately so 4 upon 5 and 16 upon 20 cross multiply so 20 into 4 and then 5 into 16 20 into 4 is 80 5 into 16 is also 80 so this means these two fractions are equal the last one we have is 1 upon 15 and 4 upon 30 again cross multiply so 30 into 1 and then we have uh, 15 into 4 so 30 into 1 will be 30 and 15 into 4 will be 60 so 30 and 60 they are not equal so this was an easy way of doing it but if you want to show this in exam then how to solve this so let's start this one i'm going to start with the first question so first one they have given is 5 upon 9 is equal to 4 upon 5 or not so here it's like uh, we have to do some a few steps to get the answer so the number is 5 upon 9 and 4 upon 5 so first thing we're going to do here is we'll take the LCM of 9 and 5 and why we're doing it so that we can make the denominator same here so the LCM of 9 and 5 is 45 so I'm going to first change the denominator of both the fractions by change by uh, taking the LCM of it now here we got LCM 45 right so with 9 what I have to multiply to get 45 so it will be 5 9 5 is a 45 right so multiply 5 in the numerator also it's like an equivalent fraction you're doing it so 25 upon 45 is actually an equivalent fraction of 5 upon 9 with 45 as a denominator that's it second number we have 4 by 5 so this 5 we have to make it 45 so again with 5 what number we have to multiply so we know that 5 9 is 45 right so we're going to multiply this 9 in the numerator and also in the denominator so that it will be we will get 45 in the denominator so 4 9 is 36 and 5 9 is 45 now we got the denominator same but look at the numerators here so in the first one we got 25 upon 45 and in second one we got 36 upon 45 yes so if you observe the numerator we have 25 and 36 and we know that they are not equal which means the fractions are also not equal so 25 upon 45 is not equal to 36 upon 45 and if you observe we have got the same thing 45 and 36 we got when we were doing the uh, that cross multiplication method right so the answer will be almost this is how you can do it quickly or if you want a long method go by this method second one so in second one it's like 9 upon 16 is equal to 5 upon 9 or not they're asking again so again if you look at the numbers it's 9 upon 16 and then we have a 5 upon 9 so 16 and 9 we have in the denominators and they are not equal so we'll take a lcm so lcm of 16 and 9 will be we have to just do the 16 and 9 so these numbers are not we don't have any common uh, factor like we don't go in the same table so we have to just take a different number you can just simply multiply 16 and 9 even that will also give the same answer so still i'm going to show you so 3 is a 9 again 3 ones are 3 and 16 doesn't go in in like uh, it's like if, if i take any number 2 and 4 it will be same that's the only number left so just multiply it 3 is a 9 and 9 into 16 will be so we just multiply this so we'll get 144 so 16 and is 144 so lcm will be 144 here now so we have to change the denominator to 144 now the first number is 9 upon 16 
So to this 16, we will multiply with 9 to get 144. Since 144 is a LCM, we got it. So we have to change it to 144. So 9 is a number which we have to multiply in the numerator and denominator. So 9 into 9 is 81. So we get 81 upon 144. The next one is 5 upon 9. Now with 9, which number do we multiply to get 144? Just now we have done the multiplication, right? 16, 9 is 144. If it doesn't know that, you can just divide 144 with 9 and you'll get the answer. So the answer is 16 here. We're going to multiply 16 uh, in the numerator and denominator to get the answer. So 16 pi is 80 and 9 into 16 is 144. Now we have got the same denominator. We're going to compare the fractions. Just compare the numerators here. So we got 81 upon 144. The other one we got 80 upon 144. So here 81 and 80, they are not equal. So this means that the fraction is also not equal since the denominators are same. But numerators are not equal here. The fractions are also not equal. Now, we'll just conclude. They are not equal. Or, yeah, that's it. We will move on to the next one, which is problem C. So, in the cross multiplication, we got the answer that yes, they are equal. Let's see in this uh, method if we get the equal or not. So, we have 4 by 5 and we also have 16 by 20 here. So, let me write the number first. So, we have 4 by 5. And uh, 16 upon 20. So again, denominators are not same. We will make it same by taking LCM of 5 and 20. So LCM of 5 and 20 is 20 itself. Now, I can just do it if in case you have a doubt. So 5 ones are 5 and 5 fours are 20. And then 4 ones are 4. So 5 fours are 20. So LCM of 5 and 20 is 20. Now we're going to change, for the first number we're going to change it, so 4 by 5. So with 5, what we should multiply to get 20 in the denominator? So it's obviously 4, right? So same 4, I'm going to multiply in the numerator and in the denominator. So 5 4s and 4 4s, it will become 16 upon 20. Now if we take the second number, which is 16 upon 20, so here we don't have to multiply because already denominator is 20, right? So you don't have to change it, right? So we got both the numbers here. So you can see that first number we changed 4 by 5, we changed to 16 upon 20. And the second number is already 16 upon 20. So here you can see both numerators are also same. Denominators are also equal. This means the fractions are equal. So we can say yes, they are equal. So this was about the problem 3. Now we are going to move on to the last one which is problem D. We have 1 by 15 and we have 4 by 30 here. So the second one 4 by 30 we can simply cancel we can check it out. So first we have 1 by 15 and we have 4 by 30 right. So again if they want to show you you can do it in two ways here you can cancel 4 and 30 you will get 2 by 15 you can compare in that way or you can just do the same procedure which I was doing for the remaining problems. So LCM of 15 and 30 is 30 so we are going to change the first number 15 we are going to make it to 30 so for that we have to multiply with uh, 2 because 15 2 za is 30 the same 2 we are going to multiply in the numerator so 1 2 za is 2 and 15 2 za 30 so we will get 2 by 30 here. Now, so both denominators are same. For the second number, we don't have to do because already we have a 13 denominator. So we got 2 by 30, the first number. And the second number we got as uh, 4 by 30, right? So 2 by 30 and 4 by 30. Denominators are same, but numerators are not equal here. We got 4 and we got 2 here, which means they are not same. So we can say that these fractions are not equal. So, no, they are not or not equal, you can just say. So, like I told you before, we can just cancel 4 and 30, that is one more way. So, that's it. This was a simple problem. I hope it's clear. In case you have any question or doubt, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.